five steps. In today's Maya Reset practice, we are working with Ishvara Pranadana, who translates from Sanskrit to English very loosely as surrender. What a perfect way to practice your Ishvara Pranadana today with a beautiful restorative style practice where we take things a little slower than usual with our postures. We'll be taking time between each posture to slowly find a reset within us, a softening and surrender in each posture to reset. And you'll need just the two props today if you have them handy, a block and a bolster. And if you don't have a cork block, a foam one's fine. If you don't have a cork or a foam block, grab yourself a couple of thick books. If you don't have a bolster, grab yourself a couple of pillows or a couple of cushions to about the same thickness and height as the bolster I have here. You're welcome to hit pause once you've found your assistance today in your props. Meet me back on the mat. Now, opening quote and a quote that we'll come back to throughout the practice with the breath. I want us to drop into that today and so I invite you to find a comfortable seat upon your mat, maybe a Sukhasana. With the knees in a loose cross, checking in with how your body feels today in your Sukhasana. And we always utilize our props to enjoy and experience the practice in the deepest and most comfortable way possible. And so if you know you need a little bit of extra support today, maybe take one of the props beneath the sit bones and allow the knees to soften, the hips to soften. And close down the eyes and take the palms to the legs. And extending them the length of your legs to find space beside the ribs and space between the shoulders and the ears. As you inhale, take a rise of the shoulders, exaggerating that drawn, stress contracted state with these muscles. And then as you exhale, your first release and your first complete softening and surrender here. The inhale draws your crown towards the sky, a little closer to the sky. As you exhale, maintaining that length and just practicing a softening of all of the supportive and surrounding muscles. And as we connect to our breath here, with the eyes closed down, we find a seal of the top lip upon the bottom. And drawing both the inhale through the nostrils and the exhale out of the nostrils too. And staying with your breath. Today's quote is by Sonia Ricotti. And she say, the quote says, Surrender to what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. Let's sit with that for just a moment longer as you connect to your breath. We inhale, drawing into the body, surrendering to what is. As you exhale, let go of what was. And as you sit in the base of the breath in that moment, that pause between the breath. We sit in trust and faith in what will be. And gently blink open the eyes and let's find our opening posture today, which is a beautiful surrendered 
and supported Baddha Konasana. And pressing into the shins and release that support from beneath your pelvis. And this one we're using already your bolster or your support. And take the knees just as wide as the mat, big toes together to tuck behind you and to connect. Drawing your support in between the knees, connecting to the thighs. And then slowly take a walk, drawing the belly down to connect to that support, the rib cage to connect. And finally, the forearms and the backs of the hands to connect to your mat as you drape the head heavy. And coming back to that breath, and focused on the quote as you draw the inhale. We surrender with the inhale to what is. As you exhale, feel into a heaviness giving in to that support beneath you and let go of what was. Take that pause at the base of the breath. And have faith in what will be. And checking in with the shoulders. And if you're feeling any tension here between the shoulders and the ears, take a little walk with the elbows, drawing them just a little further away. And feeling that softening between the shoulder blades. And feeling the softening between the shoulders and the ears. And we stay with the breath. And one final breath here. And let's flip the palms and take a walk. Slowly drawing the body to rise back into your seat. And spine long and remove that support from between the knees. And let's draw them in together. And sitting in your hero pose, we're going to be taking now a virasana and sinking a little more deeply into the mat. And so all we're doing is releasing the ankles and the knees a little further away from that midline. And we'll take our first one with support, rising from your seat and using that support that you're working with today to slide between the knees or even the cork block beneath the sit bones and softening in here and checking in with your alignment allowing the knees to tuck tightly into your prop and the shins to run parallel We'll take a walk down once more now with this newfound positioning. And coming down to the forearms. And resting the forearms in a sphinx-like position. And draw the chin down towards the chest, feeling the heaviness of the head. And you should be getting a really beautiful release through the back of the neck. And coming back to the breath. Within this posture, as you inhale, I want you to feel the rib cage expand. Feel the space between each individual rib. As you exhale, feel into that heaviness. And 
And we press into those hands releasing the elbows and take a walk back to your seat. And let's slide that support out now. And we'll take it in front of the body and replace it with your block. And you might find this is a little lower than what you were working with with your bolster. And with the block beneath your sit bones, finding any little subtle adjustments that you need for your virasana. And your virasana today. And the base and foundation of our release as we release through both the front body and the back body from this position. I'm going to take an extension of the right leg today as you draw the sole of that right foot to meet the mat. And take a hug of that right knee, maybe resting the chin or the forehead upon the knee. Release the forehead from the knee and find length through the spine. And then take a little walk with that right foot out to the edge of your mat. We're going to sink that right elbow down inside that right knee now. You're feeling the connection between the back of the right shoulder and your right inner calf and thigh. Right hand down to meet the mat and we'll take a spinal twist and taking the left fingertips out on that diagonal behind you, taking the gaze out on the diagonal and sending it beyond the fingertips. And as you inhale, let's find a little more space. And as you exhale, maybe soften and take the twist a little deeper. Here for a couple more breaths, releasing now the head as you hang on the head towards that right shoulder. And staying here for one more breath and staying with this version, variation of the posture or finding a bind by feeding that right arm beneath the window and allowing the left arm to settle in on your low back using the connection with the fingertips if that's accessible. We inhale and draw that left shoulder to open and the gaze over that left shoulder. Staying for the exhale. Release your bind. Let's meet back to connect at that center point, releasing the bind, releasing your rotation. Walking that foot back in toward the midline and taking the hands to the shins, inhale, long spine. Exhale, curling it back down forehead or chin to meet the knee. And if you're a little tight today, maybe make some fists upon the knee or stacking the hands to allow the forehead or the chin to connect. And rising the gaze, rising and finding length through the spine. And this time we're drawing the support back in and taking an extension of that right leg. And finding the sit bones squared off upon your books or your block. And tucking that support into the belly. And once you've found that connection, we'll take a walk down your support. And coming to allow the belly to meet, the rib cage to meet and the forehead to drape. And as you settle and soften in here, can you feel the release of your back body? 
your right hamstring. Checking in with any tension you may be holding through the right foot, the toes. In the neck. And take a walk back up the bolster. Beautiful, Yogi. So removing that support and sliding that on forwards. And let's draw that right foot in with a little bit of assistance now. And taking one hug and squeeze here. And as we take the leg long, your counter pose and that release takes you now with the fingertips gripping the inner and outer blade of that right foot. And once you've found that connection on the foot, allow that sole to rise and we'll settle in here. I'm taking an extension and maybe you find the shin in alignment with the mat. And take a moment of pause here. And you can stay here for another breath or find an extension of the heel and a beautiful big release through the back of that hamstring. And let's slowly find our way home. And bending at the knee, drawing back to that parallel with the mat for your shin. Soul to meet the mat. And we'll take it to the other side. Resetting now that right foot back behind you. We'll release the left. Left sole of the foot meets the mat. And taking the hands to wrap the shin. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, bending at the elbows, folding forward, chin or forehead to meet the left knee. Inhale, we rise. Maybe with assistance, slowly sliding out that left heel now. And taking your support and settling, settling that one into the low belly, into the pelvis. Releasing any tension you may be holding in that left foot and take your walk, offering your belly, your heart and forward to devote and to offer. into your Ishvara Pranadana. And they say to surrender is to feel. And with your surrendered state right here, right now, in your Ada Virasana, Pashimottanasana, what do you feel? And as we connect to that feeling body, we use the physical release of the major muscles, of the joints, to take you closer to that connection. We use our breath to take you closer to that connection. And if you were to release and remove the Anamaya Kosha, the physical body, and the Pranamaya Kosha, and the breath body, what are you left with? What do you feel? And let's return to our seat. And removing that support and with assistance draw the 
foot and the sole back to meet the mat. And forehead to knee. And as we inhale and rise, let's take a walk, heel toeing that left foot out on the diagonal to meet the edge of the mat. Left shoulder inside that left knee. And feeling that connection. Left fingertips down to meet the mat. And right hand runs the length of that left arm and unravels the spine, finding a gentle twist. And that diagonal line between both arms we settle into now. Using the physical body and the breath once more as the vehicle. Inhale. Finding your twist. Exhale. Surrender into that. Inhale. And soften with the exhale. And staying here with your gentle twist or finding your bind by drawing the left shoulder a little lower and feeding that left arm through the window and taking a rotation of that left arm and allowing the right to settle in on the low back. Maybe finding a bind with the hands and taking a breath here. To gaze over that right shoulder, draw wherever you are, the head down to rest. And feel into that release through that right side of your neck. And the inhale, release the bind if you were there. Release that left arm and feed it back through. And draw back into center and spine long. Take your walk, heel toe the foot back toward the midline. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, we fold it down. And let's come back to that counter releases you take a grip of the inner and outer blades now of that left foot and find your balance and release left foot from the mat and stay here or draw the shin to rise to run parallel with the mat nice release here through the glutes the hamstrings or if you want to take it a little further today and take an extension of the leg and deepening that release through that left hamstring. And the leg doesn't need to be completely straight, maybe staying with a soft bend through that left knee. And let's slowly take it home. Releasing the shin back down to that parallel point. And slowly guiding the foot back down to meet the mat. Release your grip, your bind. And we'll feed that left foot back into your Varasana. And final variation before you release out of your Varasana here. You can stay supported and find your seat. Or if you want to take it a step further, we'll remove the block or your books from beneath your hip. And maybe you settle in, drawing the sit bones a little closer to the mat. In whatever version of Virasana you're in, take your final breath. And take the fingertips to the mat and let's release out of this. And walking forwards and find your tabletop. Let's extend that left leg. 
And feel into a beautiful big calf stretch here on that left side, hamstring stretch. And reset it back on the mat. Let's explore that on the right. And drawing the heel back and really pressing into that ball of the foot to find a release for that calf on the right side now. And drawing that right knee back in. Let's find one more calf stretch here as you bring that left sole of the foot to the mat and we'll sink down into that left foot and maybe take a little rock and roll over that ankle and then that next rock as you draw into the ball of the foot we're going to tuck the back toes on the right and settle in taking a release and a stretch through both calves fingertips to press into the mat we're going to take the hips to the sky as you find just the one short pyramid pose. And stay for a full round of breath as you inhale, maybe back it off and find a little bit of length for the belly. And forehead releasing once more. Now let's inhale and roll it back over those toes on the right, right knee to meet the mat. And switch it over. And the right sole of the foot, heel in alignment with the knee. And drawing to rise and using your hands to assist here. Gentle rock and roll. For that right ankle. And let's take a tuck of those left toes and sink back into your seat. And if your calves are tight, you'll be feeling this through both sides, through the top of that left foot. And maybe coming back to that rock and roll. And staying with that definition of surrender to feel. What do you feel in this posture? And can you look beyond the physical sensations? Let's settle into stillness, plant the fingertips and press into the balls of both feet as you draw to rise and find your pyramid now on the right. Deep stretch through that right hamstring. Let's inhale back it off and find a little bit of space. As you exhale, folding over that left shin. Inhale to rise, rolling over the knee. And coming back to your seat. And drawing your support back in, we'll find our sit bones on the mat. And extending out the right heel. And now we allow that left knee to fall open. The sole of the left foot connecting to the inner thigh on the right. And we'll bring that support back in. Nestling once more like we did at the start of practice into the belly. I'm taking that walk and finding three breaths here to release in your Janu Shushasana. Rising the gaze, walking back up the support. And releasing the support, we'll take a switch of the legs. Left leg extends, sole of the right foot to the inner thigh on the left. Find your support and take your walk. Three breaths here in your release.
Inhale, rise. Supported Paschimottanasana to close out our forward fold, says you. Release that support and extend both legs now, keeping the heels still nice and wide. And we'll stay with that support as you fold forwards over both legs, maybe taking the palms down to connect to the calves, the ankles, maybe the outer blades of the feet are accessible for you as you drape the forehead to hang, the head to hang. Inhale, we rise. Removing that support and we'll draw the soles of both feet in now to find your Baddha Konasana. Lots of space here between the sit bones and the, and the heels. Allowing those knees to drape and become heavy. Maybe you rest your forearms upon the knees to assist with this surrendering. And softening with each exhale. And with the inhale, letting go of what is. And with your exhale, Letting go of what was. And surrendering into what will be. And let's draw to rise and find your seat once more in our support now. And comes to the back body as you set it up, uh, running the length of the mat. We're going to take the bolster in to meet the pelvis and feel into that connection. Opening now through the front body as you slowly drape the back body to the bolster. And we'll take this one step at a time, hands to meet the mat. Lower back to meet the support. Mid back, your thoracic. Maybe you release all the way down for the head to meet the support and open the hands. Resting the forearms, resting the backs of the hands beside you. That breath now shifting to open through the front of the rib cage as you inhale. And we feel space between the ribs. And as you exhale, your back body surrendering, the front body opening and feeling into that release. And this should feel so subtle, this surrender. And if you're noticing any tension at all through the low back, feel free to follow my lead as you set a block or your books beneath the sit bones, providing a gentle stagger for the pelvis and you should find that releases tension from the low back and draws the focus into the opening of the pelvis and if you're feeling tension in the neck or upper back maybe you have a second block or if you're not using your block beneath the pelvis and feel free to take that beneath the head, beneath the bolster. 
And provide yourself a little bit of support here for the head. Whatever your variation of Supta Baddha Konasana. Let's take one more deep breath. Slowly exhaling and releasing and practicing surrender. And flip the palms, tuck the chin and draw to rise. Now, peak posture we're working with today is that Virasana, your Ardha Virasana, and we're going to come back to your final Virasana now as you extend that right leg. We're going to take a tuck of the left, and your bolster's already set in position. And feeling the support connecting to your pelvis, and that foot and the shin running nice and tucked in and connected to that side body as you now take a release and an opening and through that left side. And playing with your supports. If you're feeling quite tight today through the quads and you have a block handy, a support handy, and you can take the sole of that right foot and allow the support of the book or the block to nestle in beneath your sit bones. And then once more, taking that extension of the right leg to release that out of play. Beautiful, beautiful release for the entire muscle, set of muscles for that left leg. And you shouldn't be feeling any tension through the knee here. And if you're experiencing any tension at all through the knee, and you can back it off by drawing to rise. Maybe taking the sole of that right foot to the mat and adding some extra support beneath your bolster. Reducing the severity of that opening through the hip releases the severity of the stretch and release for that quad too. Wherever you are in your Supta Aravarasana, let's tuck the chin and curling the spine, pressing the hands into the mat and come to rise, finding your seat as we switch it over. And resting now on the shin and the top of the foot on that right leg. And taking your options, maybe the hip settled in on your book or your blocks and the bolster tucked in nice and tightly against the back of your pelvis. Maybe you're choosing to keep that left leg high and as you slowly lower the back body to the bolster. If this side feels okay, maybe you take an extension of that left leg. And if you want to go a little deeper, and draw back to the sole of the foot, release that bolster from beneath you, and settling the hips. Back down toward the mat. And maybe staying in the sole of the left foot. 
Or maybe you take an extension with that left leg here too. And whatever your option for your posture. And flipping the palms and resting on the backs of the hands. Or if you want to find some length and a slightly deeper surrender now through the chest and the shoulders as well. Take the hands overhead. One more breath, yogis. And deep inhale. We invite the breath into the body. Exhale. We're releasing and letting go. And let's take it home and find your savasan. And pressing hands into the mat. Chin draws to chest as you find a right. Releasing that right leg now and find the right leg extended the length of the mat, the heels, the length of the mat. We'll take the feet nice and wide today. And that support beneath you, let's draw that to meet the pelvis once more. Let's slowly drape over that bolster as it runs across the mat now. Maybe initially just coming to the forearms, hanging the head and opening through the chest, the throat, hammocking through the shoulders. And chin into chest and releasing out of the forearms if it feels okay. And draping now the head to rest, the thoracic spine to rest. Again, the options with your hands, taking them nice and wide beside the body. Or hands to the elbows and finding length through the side body as you extend overhead. You can stay here for your savasan with this beautiful deep opening. Deep surrender. Or if you want to remove that support, come with me now. As we draw the soles of our feet to the mat. And finding a bridge as you and draw the hips and the low back off the support, rolling it down the body. Unravel the spine one vertebra at a time. And maybe you keep that support beneath the knees for today's Savasan. Or maybe you remove it completely and have the entire body in a full corpse pose connecting to the mat. And the hands today, the palms, turn inward as we create a circuit for our breath. And palms to connect to the pelvis. And as you inhale, send the breath all the way to the low belly. Feel that subtle rise beneath your fingers. And as you exhale, releasing the breath out of the mouth. Feel that surrendering into the mat and that space that we create as we let go of the breath.
The yogi is slowly coming back to the room. Let's take an inhale and send the arms overhead. Drawing the knees ever so slowly back together, the big toes back together and find the body long, extending from fingertip to toe tip. Let's draw the knees into the chest. And taking a hug and finding yourself in a beautiful tight ball. Rolling to your feminine side, that left side. Maybe making a pillow with the hands, the arms. And with the eyes still closed down, and plant the hands into the earth and draw to rise. And coming back to your seat. And as you find your way back to the seat, your Sukhasana, your hero, your easy cross leg. We find the hands in prayer at heart center. Your inhale draws you long through the spine once more. Your exhale allows your knees to soften and fold out, your shoulders to soften away from the ears. And the dictionary will tell you the action of surrendering to an opponent or powerful influence is the definition of surrender. Can you choose the action of surrender? Make no mistake to surrender is not to give in or to give up. It is a choice and you get to choose. And as you find your way off the mat today, my hope is that you are able to choose that action of surrender in all that you do. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today, yogis. I hope you feel reset. Namaste.